Hi everyone, I'm glad we meet again. After attending the previous two presentations, all of you will have a grasp general concept of the TVS-1000. Now let's discuss what downstream keying is. I'm sure all of you must have seen the data video logo placed in the upper right hand corner of the screen and the current theme displayed at the bottom. These are known as downstream keyer effects. It overlays your readily made materials on the screen, regardless of whether it is a steel text with a bit of transpiration, a picture or an alpha channel video. Downstream keying allows you to put all of them on the screen so as to make your program more informative and vivid. This is how it works. We can click on the DSK function key located on the right and on clicking the DSK function key will turn green, indicating that the downstream keyer is currently in the preview state and you're allowed to set, select from the following sources. Camera, media 1 and 2, still 1 and 2 and text 1 and 2. The selection will then appear in the preview window, allowing you to preview its position, size and the visual effect. To change its position, click on the placement button below to open a window that allows you to adjust the DSK position up, down, left and right. And change the size. It is better to fix the DSK size and position during the design process. Therefore, you will be able to click and use the downstream keyer on the TVS-1000 system without affecting its original resolution and quality due to the size adjustment. After finishing setting one DSK, you can then continue to select the source for the second DSK. Repeat the steps I just described. After confirming the position and the visual effect of the DSK, we can then click on the cut or fade buttons below at the right time to switch the DSK from the preview screen to the program. Fade transition effect can be customized by setting its time in seconds or frames so as to obtain a precise transition effect. After the DSK is switched to the program view, the DSK button turns red, indicating that it's being played and the DSK position and size cannot be modified anymore. At the end of its mission, Click or cut or fade button again to switch the DSK back to the preview screen. Now the DSK button turns back to green, ready for the next DSK configuration. If you do not need to use the DSK anymore, click on the button again to turn off the button light, indicating that the DSK is completely ineffective now. You may want to display two DSKs simultaneously, but later remove one, just leaving, for instance, a logo. To start with, we have two red DSK buttons and we just need to click the mouse once on the button of the required DSK to display that DSK on the preview screen. This means that this DSK will be viewed. Hence, at this point, you should be able to see this DSK on both preview and program screens at the same time. When we click on cut or the fade button, the first DSK will be displayed in its original position. However, Another DSK button will then turn from red back to green and be switched back to the preview screen. So this is how to use the downstream keyer. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you again in the next lecture.